Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, we definitely have some things to talk about tonight on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Thanks a lot, Ken, and thank you for tuning in. Give us a call, 412-575-2600. I'm Rich Walsh, and Paul Zeiss is sitting right next to me and ready to get into Steelers, Colts, the AFC South. Division leaders are coming into Pittsburgh. Uh, the Steelers are a slight favorite in this game. I think the Steelers can win this game, Paul. Um, you know, I think I like the way they played in the second half. I really like the way this defense plays. You know, my big concern right now, will they be healthy? And will James Conner be healthy? Because if James Conner's not healthy, it doesn't look like Benny Snell's going to be healthy. And Jalen Samuels is your only back outside of Trey Edmonds. Yeah, I mean, again, the, the, the big thing is going to be watching them over the next couple of days. With, with James Conner, it's a matter of, you know, can he handle the pain, I think, right? Isn't yeah. That, that, that injury basically is just... Can they manage the pain enough that they uh, are able to go out and do what they uh, need to do in order to uh, have him play? If he doesn't play, it could get interesting. I really like Jalen Samuels. Yeah, I really I do. I don't know. I mean, if he, he you're, you're, he's coming off an injury. He's yeah. basically one hit away from one getting, cut away, whatever. So, um, yeah, that could be an issue. And against the Colts, you know what? You're going to have to grind out yards because that's a good defense. They're not. Uh, they're, they're not going to give up a whole lot. So you, you, you would like to have Connor available and you'd like to have Sal, uh, Samuels available. But if Connor can't go, um, boy, it changes the complexion of the game for the Steelers. Yeah, and you become more one dimensional. And I think that's part of Rudolph's problem because uh, he's still finding his way in this offense, I think, right now. I really like the way he played in the second half. He, he got into a groove. He shook that rust off. I mean, I kind of had a feeling, even though he came out and said it last Thursday, that, you know, he wants to get hit. He wants to get up in the pocket and take shots. Um, well, you could tell he was a little hesitant those first couple drives. And what was his passer rating? Zero, I think, there early on in that game. But, you know, it was a, it was a breakdown in coverage. And it was a third and 20, but getting that touchdown to Dante, Deontay Johnson really sparked him in this offense. Yeah, I think it got him going. You know, one of the things that people don't acknowledge from that game the other night, the, the, early in the game, Rudolph wasn't good, but you know what? The receivers weren't getting open. The offensive line was getting bullied. You know, they, they weren't playing well as an offense. Um, the offensive line started playing better. All of a sudden, Rudolph started making some throws. The receivers started making some tough catches, getting open. That's how it works, you know. And so that's what they need to happen this game, this week. The difference is you can't go down 14 nothing against no, the Colts because you'll not lose. at all. Seven you know. guys uh, did not practice today. Uh, a couple of the starters were the bigger names were James Conner, Pouncey, uh, Ramon Foster, still in concussion protocol. So depending how his concussion goes. Who knows what can happen with, with him. I would imagine Pouncey is just a day off and he'll get back yeah. to practice and yeah. he can play. Uh, James Conner sounds like a game time decision, but you never know. And you never know um, what, can, what can happen. I, mean, I remember him being game time decisions last year and he missed a game or two. So, um, yeah, the Steelers, this is a tough one. This is no cakewalk, but I do think that they could win this game. And I think that they will win one of their next two. If they win this game, now they're right in that playoff picture in the AFC, especially for a wild card. Yeah, and it helps them with tiebreakers. There's a lot that, you know, this really to me, I mean, obviously every week going in now because they have very little margin for error is important. But this week will tell us everything we need to know about the Steelers. If they win this game, it tells you they can beat a playoff caliber team. It tells you, you know what I mean, that Rudolph yeah. can beat a good team. It tells you their defense is good. I mean, there's a lot that you can look at this game. But the other part of it is it makes them four and four halfway through the season. If you think about how the season started and yeah. what a disaster it was, they're four and four. If you look at what they have in the second half, I know they've got the Cardinals. They've got a couple against the Browns. They've got the Bengals. I mean, they've got an opportunity maybe to get to five wins in the second half of the season. And now you're nine and seven. I think that's probably going to be good enough. Yeah, even the stretch here coming up. I mean, you have the Colts, you have the Rams, you have two against the Browns and the Bengals all coming up. And they're all winnable games. Yeah, that Rams, but it's here. That's the one thing I like about it. That's at home. Um, those other three are winnable games. They could go four and one in this stretch. And sure. then maybe be in the conversation of the division again. Because the Ravens, they still have, what, 
the uh, Patriots. Patriots. Coming up. They've got a tough schedule coming. Yeah, up. There's no so, question about it. So y- y- they you showed never- me something though, beating Seattle, yes. and they had a week off. It won't shock me if they win this week against the uh, the Ravens. Nope. I mean, against the Patriots. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. I mean, I think the Patriots. They win. always play the, ra- the, they, the, the they Patriots. They play them well. well. And I'll tell you this: the other thing that I don't think people acknowledge enough about the Patriots' offense is not dominant or great. They're they're winning because they their their offense is efficient. Yeah. Um, but they've gotten a lot of help from their defense. The defense is historically good. That secondary is historically good. But what have we seen teams can do against the Patriots' defense? Run the ball. And what do the Ravens do well? <laughs> Run the ball. So, and to me, and, you know, to me, I could see this being a game where the Ravens win, like, you know, 20 to 17 or something. I could absolutely see that. Then if the Ravens win this game, then that division is pretty much sealed up. I would think so, yes. Yeah. All right, well, we got to take a break. We're taking your phone calls. We have a couple lines open. 412-575-2600 is the number. By the way, the World Series is going on right now, and it's a very interesting game. I don't want you to tune away from us for that. <laughs> we can talk about it if you want. And the Buccos made a big move today. Did you talk about it on your show? No. Pirates, big move by the Pirates. No. In fact, we had, somebody, we had somebody that <laughs> called in and said, who is it that actually made the move since nobody's in the front <laughs> yeah. office? All right, we're going to take a break back in a couple of minutes. The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, celebrating 25 years as Pittsburgh's number one home exterior expert in roofing, siding, windows, and gutters, where honesty and integrity still matter. 